when I tell you how weird it is to come back to YouTube after being absent for a long time. Let's hope I get it right. 12,000 subscribers later, over a year later, and I still get nervous to make YouTube videos, especially when I've taken a break. Um, a few months ago in July, I turned 30, and I haven't really made a video ever since due to a major life update that I hope I will be brave enough to share with you guys soon. But for now, let's talk about all the things I learned in my 20s now that I am 30 years old. I'm busy editing the video that you're watching now and man, I just discovered that the sound was really bad. So please forgive me, okay? I'm easing my way back into YouTube and the sound is not so great. But please forgive me, I'll get it right in my next video. Yeah, let's just do something a little bit different than my usual content. Let's just chat. So I'm going to go through five things, uh, areas, topics, whatever that I learned in my 20s and what I wish I would have known when I was like 20 years old compared to what I know today. I Let me tell you guys something. I thought I was the smartest, most mature, wise person. I found this journal of mine from when I was 19, just before I went to UCT. And I was probably so annoying. I thought I was so smart, so wise, so mature. And maybe I was a little, but yeah, I've definitely learned a whole bunch of things and I just wanna talk about them in this video. And actually the last one is the most game-changing, life-changing one for me. So that, make sure that you stick around so that I can share all of that with you. So the very first thing is going to be slightly controversial, but I believe in dating a lot, right? Um, I believe that you need to kiss a whole bunch of frogs so that you are one day ready for your prince. And you know, it worked out pretty well for me. <laughs> the reason I say that is because I, saw, I know a lot of people who are hell-bent on being single, spending time with themselves, getting to know themselves, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? But what happens is that when you finally find your dream guy or the guy that's for you, you might not be mature enough or have experience enough in relationships to know how to handle things like communication and for healthy conflict resolution and things like that and so if you stay single for way too long by the time you meet your dream guy you might not actually be smart enough the other thing is that you may have a list of like different types of people you want to date sometimes some of those choices are not the best choices and it's better to get it out of your system like let's say you want to date a guy with tattoos bad boy whatever kind of guy you don't want to end up with that person so you kind of want to get that out of your system as soon as possible and so i say when it comes to dating explore have fun but of course be as safe as as you can. Honestly, the second one is the thing that I found the most challenging in my 20s besides my career and this was friendships. Oh my god. Navigating friendships is something else. You know, I haven't 100% figured this one out but I've definitely come a long, long way right. I've never really had my heart broken by a guy or been through so much drama with guys compared to how much drama I went through with girls and I have some amazing friends and I've had some amazing friends over the years. Some people were not friends anymore but you know, I don't regret anything and those friendships were truly special at the time that they happened. So yeah, I've had a lot of people come in and out of my life over the years and you know, it's very hard not to blame yourself for that and I think upon reflection, it isn't always about cutting people off and whatever. Sometimes you need to take a look at yourself and realize maybe you're the toxic one, right? And so I recently did that analysis of myself to say, what is it about me that makes me not able to sustain these friendships for as long as I would ideally like to? And I think my problem with friendships in my 20s was the fact that I I really had way too high expectations of everybody you know and there's this quote of like I expect a lot because I give a lot and I I ran with that and I really had very very high expectations of people so whenever they disappoint me I'd be like you're out you know and that I don't think was the best thing that I should have done I think that I should have much earlier on realized this and the people who do this have lots and lots of friends throughout their entire life and they have friends that they've had for 20 30 40 years right so I think this is the secret to keeping long friendships is you've got to realize that there are levels to friendship right so let's say level one is your closest group of friends your sisters your ride or dies level two are people that you've been through a lot together maybe you've known them for a long time but they aren't as close as like a sisterhood and maybe you don't see them as often level three are your um, high school varsity friends that, or maybe party friends, people that are your friends but you know you wouldn't tell them your deepest darkest secrets and maybe they're not up to date with everything that happens in your life. Now my problem was wanting absolutely every single friend of mine to be a level one friend and so if they did something that would disappoint me I would then remove them from my life or we'd fight or something else would happen and so I really wish I had been able to distinguish between you know what this person is more of a level three friend I can see them now and then go out whatever have a good time but I don't have to trust them completely or have these high expectations of them because maybe I'm not their level one friend you know like you can be some someone can be your level three friend 
I knew they level one friend type of thing. So yeah, for me, this was a really painful, sticky thing that I went through in my 20s. But hopefully, I'm gonna do better now and learn from all of those mistakes. But, but, on the other hand, right, if someone is toxic, if someone has shown you their true colors and they are hella shady or dodgy kind of friend, kick them to the curb. You know, there's that Maya Angelou quote, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them the first time, right? So if you have a feeling that your friend is a snake, then obviously they've got to go but, but this is for serious red flags you know not just someone who maybe isn't as available as you'd like them to be or they did something small and now you're going to cut them off so yeah just try to learn the difference between those two things as well and i don't think i always knew the difference i think i was always very quick to overreact <laughs> The third thing I really wish I would have taken care of in my 20s is my body, right? When I was in my 20s, early 20s, I had such a cute little body. I loved it. I always felt confident, comfortable in my clothes. Now, I've never been a very skinny girl, right? Um, yeah, I've struggled with weight all my life from primary school, high school. I've always struggled with my weight. But when I was like 19, 20, I got into the best shape ever and I took it for granted. Like, I didn't really take care of myself. I didn't really eat healthy. I didn't develop any... Uh, healthy habits that would last me a lifetime i just sort of had this great body and i loved it because i was more confident in my body than i've ever been right and you know it doesn't matter what size you are the most important thing is to be confident and at that size i was the most confident because i could wear the types of clothes that i wanted to wear and i was just very happy with my body but because i had no system in place it sort of fell apart um after 25 your body just goes downhill so fast right if you don't exercise and eat healthy and that definitely happened to me i went through some trauma stuff and you know i really turned to food as my outlet i was not exercising i was eating everything under the sun drinking i just wasn't taking care of my body and it shows right i've gained a whole bunch of weight which is fine you know it's totally normal to gain weight as you get older but i really feel like it took an effect on my self-esteem and my confidence i'm definitely not as confident as i used to be and for me that's the most important thing so i'm trying to find a way to be confident in my new size but i know i know the truth i know the truth i want to be as skinny as i was back then I could wear shorts in the summer and I was just so comfortable so you know everyone will tell you to love your body at whatever size but at the end of the day you know what you want you know what you want to look like and I know we have this body positivity movement going on right now and I'm so so happy for that but at the end of the day you know what you want to look like and so you should do it for yourself so if you're currently in your early 20s and you have a banging body I would say try to keep you know try to build some habits that will last your lifetime maybe exercise every now and then start to eat a little bit healthier because as you get older it becomes so much harder to lose weight life is so much more busy here and i've seen the people that are like fitness bunnies that have been fitness bunnies throughout their 20s are still in amazing shape right now even in their 30s but those of us who just you know let life get busy we're kind of unhappy with our body ideally you would like to embrace the weight gain but if you can't then just lose it and that's my philosophy i've tried to embrace it really really hard i'm not comfortable i have to change my style my fashion i don't want to do that and so for me i'm going to go on a weight loss journey and so yeah that's my my solution for that so the lesson here is take care of your body in your 20s you will thank yourself in your 30s trust me now the next two are the most life-changing most you know just the most important and so i'm gonna go with this one first right and the first the fourth lesson is don't settle just don't settle whether that's in your career in your friendships in your love relationships just don't settle if you know that there is a certain type of relationship you want to be in or there is a certain career you want to have don't just settle in your 20s you're very young now if you watch my video about my UCT story and all the trouble that I went through to get my degree, you'll know that I said that video that I knew deep down in my heart after I got kicked out of UCT that I really wanted that degree. I wanted it for me, right? Not for society, not for my parents, even though initially it was for my parents, but in the end it was for myself. I knew deep down inside that this is what I wanted. And so I didn't give up on that dream. And so I know what happens when we're 18 or 19, we have these big dreams. I had this big dream and then life kicks you, knocks you back and forth, 24, 25 you know and then you might want to give up on those dreams due to life's circumstances and what I'd like to tell you is don't settle if it means you need to go back to school or take a break to save money or whatever it is don't give up on the dreams that you had that are just for yourself right the dreams that are not based on pressure from your parents or society the things that you truly want because <sighs> Some of you might think that, you know, by, by I, know, I know I thought this, I thought that by 28 I'd have a house, car, husband, baby, I thought I would have all the things and the career on top of that. And to be honest, life doesn't really work that way. You may have 
one or two out of that list of five things and you can have anything you want just not all at the same time but what i mean is that don't give up on the thing that you know deep down inside that you want because you can have it i think the reason most people give up on their dreams is they feel like they're running out of time and so they just do stuff just to have money or settle down as soon as possible so that they look on paper to have it all together but in all honesty they know that they gave up on their dreams and you know the reason i'm saying this is because i made that whole video about uct right and what i did how i struggled to get my degree but a few years ago i got stuck in my engineering career it was my dream to be an engineer and i did it i lived it i worked at multiple companies my dream companies companies i never thought i would work at i had the dream job i was earning the amazing salary but then i realized it wasn't for me and i was really old you know it was time for me to probably settle down get a house whatever but i knew that this isn't the career that i want and so i decided to leave that career that i worked so hard to get i've worked so hard to become an engineer but then it wasn't for me and now i'm starting from scratch i'm starting all over again you know a new chapter and let me tell you it is fine i'm so happy i'm finally doing what i love i feel like i'm living my purpose you know and so it's okay to change your mind it's okay to find something new that makes you feel alive and it might not be the thing that it once was it might change as time goes by and that is okay it is completely okay to start over and you know this is so different to the video that I'm, i made a video last year where i was feeling stuck in life and you can watch that video and you can see how different i am then compared to now because i'm finally doing and living the kind of life that i want and so i would highly recommend that if you're feeling like how i was feeling in that video feeling stuck feeling lost feeling confused watch that video and then this tip will make sense as well because this is the tip that actually made me get out of that feeling stuck in life place but if you're enjoying this video then you'll probably like that one too and the last lesson the most important lesson i think is that you know in your 20s you become so obsessed with maybe finding a partner a husband or having a baby or having your dream career you become so obsessed with these things and you end up starting to feel like you're running out of time because some of your peers may get some of those things that you want maybe you don't have a car maybe you want to move out of home all of these achievements right become so so important in your 20s and we chase after these things because we think that that's what's important but let me tell you what is the most important thing in my opinion that you should work on in your 20s it is your mental health right and that's everything that's got to do with your religion or your spirituality or your emotional health just like basically your soul and your spirit right whatever you believe right um that's got to do with that so if you're like a science kind of person then let's just call it your mental health i think that if you conquer that in your 20s you'll be set for the rest of your life because that gives you the found the strong foundation that you need to achieve the things that you will ultimately achieve in your 30s but i know a lot of people who go after the the career first right and they neglect their mental health and in their 30s and 40s it completely falls apart because they never had that foundation and they were actually only achieving these things to please people society or their parents or their friends and for me i feel that my biggest accomplishment in my 20s wasn't my degree or my relationship or other things it was really taking the time to work on my spirit my soul and to grow as a person and to heal from the things that broke me as a child or as a teenager and it's not a journey that ever ends right it's a, obviously a, or ever it's obviously a continuously evolving journey but really really prioritizing that if you cuz look i'll be honest i had depression right throughout my 20s multiple stages multiple times suicide like crazy 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 times and so for me it was like a matter of life and death that i needed to work on this and so i know other people don't have it that extreme but i've seen most of the people that i know that are my age have been through one variation of that or another because your 20s can be really difficult and there's a lot of pressure so everyone goes through some level of emotional distress and if you can find a way to pick yourself up out of a dark place to have a health healthy habits healthy coping make help guys healthy coping mechanisms we all know that in south africa we have a drinking problem right that is our coping mechanism drinking partying friends and i'm not against any of those things i'm against them if you're using them to cover up the stuff that's going on on the inside and i think a lot of people in their 20s are doing that instead of really working on you and also there's this belief that you need to be single in order to work on you so tell me when you get a boyfriend you're going to stop working on yourself like you're going to be 28 you get a boyfriend and the work of working on yourself ends no it doesn't it doesn't ever end you're going to continuously be working on yourself for your entire life so i say you don't need to be single to work on yourself you can be in a relationship and still working on your love relationship with yourself and so for me that is the most powerful thing that i did in my 20s was finally finally find a way to get rid of my depression for good it's been a long time now and i'm i'm still good and i've been through some challenging times and i was still able to 
pull myself out of that. If you want me to talk about that a little bit more of what I did to work on my depression and my mental health, let me know in the comments because this kind of video is a little bit different to the other stuff I make on my channel and I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but I would be more than happy if enough people leave a comment telling me to, you know, say make a video about lesson number five and then I'll know what you're talking about. This is what I want to leave you with, right? Your 20s are messy, chaotic, ups and downs, pressure. It's just so much. But you know what? It ends and you might not have everything figured out when you turn 30. I certainly don't. But oh my God, you definitely grow. You grow through the painful lessons. You grow through it all. But I think the people who grow the most are the ones that are able to do things for themselves and not do things because of society or friends or pressure. If you have certain goals you want to achieve, you need to check with yourself. Are you doing those for you? Because if that's the case, you're going to be just fine. Even as difficult as things may seem right now, it is 100% going to work out for you. Now, I really enjoyed making this video. Um, I'd love to make more of these types of videos. If you enjoyed it, let me know and I will try to mix up my content to make more of these types of videos. The other video that you can watch that's kind of related to this one is my one video about how I was feeling so stuck in my life last year and another video about my UCT journey and everything that I went through from matric, from like grade 11 actually, all the way up until graduation. So if you're interested in this type of video, then you would like those videos too. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a fantastic day. If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it.